Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Victorum, which is a game that's been in early access for a little while. It's a roguelike, it's, uh, let's see, shorter, abridged, classic, oh, interesting. So we've got a roguelike mode, a classic mode, and then very large map, which lets you set the pace. That's interesting. I'm going to do abridged for this. Hardcore, yes. Difficulty, medium, sure. I don't think we've unlocked any of these. Chapter 2, cool. I can customize my character. I can look like a different man. Mustache, the man's man. The gentleman. The wizard. Beard, philosopher. Oh boy, ship captain. But what if I had none? Just go full Robotnik here. Nah, lumberjack? I like it. But honestly, I mean, sideburns? Nah, nah, philosopher. There we go. Hair color. I appreciate the fact that I can change these things. I can also do all sorts of whatever I want. Oh, sweet biscuits. I can be pink as hell. Wait. Oh, corruption glow. That's interesting. Let's do... That, but make it a little darker. Maybe. I don't know. That's the armor color. Very red. Very dark. But maybe none of these. Let's go back to this. What about leather color? Almost none of this matters. But I just... I don't know. It's kind of fun to play around with. And kind of come up with your own character design-ish. Plus, I like looking like a ridiculous... Ridiculous, just hot pink wizard. I, If I were a wizard, I'd probably be all sorts of all over the place. In terms of my fashion, like... I'd just be like, I'm a god dang wizard. No one can tell me how I'm supposed to dress. Let's see, cloth color. Oh, that. Uh, let's make it black. There we go. My pants look a little weird. What is our name? Our name is Ark Soup. Ark Soup Lord. Oh, and we have a, an accessory. Reset. Reset my colors? Okay, no, no, I got it back. Wait, skin color? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I don't have to be the regular colors. Let us just be green. Okay, so what else do we have? Helmet of shame. <laughs> Santa hat. I don't know. The hood looks good. The hair looks pretty meh. The hat of shame is amazing, but not for today. Save custom. I have no idea. All right, Arc, Arc Soup Lord, the Firebrand, let's go. Wait, did it reset my skin color? Whatever. It doesn't matter, I'm not here for that. Okay, it was impossible, of course, but Arc Soup Lord was a Victorum, the last one. And by stretching the very limits of his power and of creation in itself, he survived his own execution. Such power comes with a price, however, and his body was warped with corruption. His mind scarred with the brief blazing glimpse of the world that moment gave him of the horrors within the miasma, and of the Inquisition, its endless armies already stirring, a hound scenting the magical trace of his miracle. Arc Soup Lord could not run away, not forever, but he could run toward. He cast his vision onto his map, marking the way to the Grand Inquisitor, marked with red, marked with blood. It was the Grand Inquisitor who had decreed Arc Soup Lord would die, and it was death he would receive. Okay, so I can actually start with something. So we can slow our pursuers down, choose a magical thing, max mana, but we lose 30 health or gain a unique item. Um, Let's go with that. The max mana is kind of handy. And see if we can get something good. That's a good robe. Okay, so let's view inventory, pop these on. Curious about the unique stuff, but alas. Oh, that's how enchanting is handled. Okay, what else do we have? Where are we? I am here. So, let's see. This game kind of follows a FTL style path. And we need to get here? Yeah, so we need to get here. So, frankly, I think my best thing is just kind of zip down here and then go up to this maybe 
I don't know. I played this game when it first came out in early access, but I didn't spend a whole lot of time on it because I didn't like it. It needed some more time in the oven, and I think it's gotten that, so it's a good time to check it out. So the Ark Suplord arrived at a small village of Urgoth in the midst of the chaos of a corrupted attack. Though no savior, he was not one to suffer any of the corrupted to live. Even though he is corrupted too. Alright, so what do we have? So I can press Alt to effectively see the map. I don't think I'm timed here. And there's nothing behind me. Okay, and we've got a lot of bad boys that I gotta go smack around, looks like. I don't actually know how dangerous the enemies in this game are. Well, that works. Okay. I think that worked. I have to be a little careful with my mana. Okay. And they're still dead. What else we got over here? Is there anything in this house? No. Actually, let's get my mana back for a hot second. High explosive, multi-shot, high velocity. Die house. Hey, this game was like all over Reddit for a while. Oh, I can't actually save save the statistics. That's a shame. It was all over Reddit. <laughs> it was all, all over Reddit for a while, kind of showing off like, hey, you know, we made this like heavily physics-based roguelike wizard game, and I was like, oh, this seems neat. Die, statue. Got it. Alright, so I'm gonna try high velocity and high explosive. Did I get him? I did. But it didn't seem to have stuck. There we go. Okay, time for just regular fireballs. Oh, there's a bunch of them. I wonder if I can do friendly fire to myself. That would be something to keep an eye on. Well, doesn't seem like any of these guys can do anything to me. Alright, onwards. I see something over there. Oops. And you seem just spooky enough that I wish... To do some damage. Ow. Ow. Okay, so whatever that thing was, that actually hurt. Still don't see anything lootable. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I can destroy. So some of these guys have ranged attacks, and I can also punch my microphone. I apologize if you hear that. Sometimes I cycle the recording, but in that case, I don't know if it actually translated. Okay. I see a gob. There we go. I don't know if they're still alive, but I sincerely believe in the double tap here. I also sincerely believe in most of these enemies just getting flopped pretty dang hard. So there's stuff in there, we've got some watchtowers, and we've got something here. I think he's already spotted me. That tree won't save you. I love destructible environments. How did he not notice me? Whoops. He did. Okay, then all we have left is that one dude. However, this house needs to not be here. There we go. Please be gone. What else do we have? I've got one watchtower up there, and there's one more dude just kind of rolling around. Oh, did I blow up the treasure chest? I might have. I thought there was a treasure chest in here, but uh, it uh, doesn't seem to be here anymore. Hmm. Ow. Ow. Physics. No, but there's something here. Maybe this is just what I was looking for. Uh? Hey, I saw it. Loot something of the bear. Oh, I got it. Okay. Anything else? No. There's just this singular dude. Hello, singular dude. Oh. That's yeah, one of those explodey boys. Alright. 
That is a keep up there. Is that, is it dead? It's dead. I don't see any other loot, so I guess let's get out of here. Hey, you have to destroy the watchtowers to leave, but I'm just going to fight everything. Uh, let's see. Well, we get some money. Choose a random item. Choose a new item. What do we have? So movement speed bonus, physical resistance. The only problem is it hurts my spell. Nah. I could do it, but I don't know if I want it. Uh, let's see. Wait, no, no, no. It's better than my robes. Yeah, it's better than the robes. Oh, what else do we have? Circle of Pain Tome. That sounds neat. Where did I get some of this stuff? I have no idea. Oh, well. Okay, and at some point we're going to get some bad boys coming my direction. Let's see. Light of Debalor was here. Let's go say hi. Let's see what see what's there. Uh, let's see. Oh, was fortunate able to heal his wounds and continue his journey. Huh, missed that. Ark Suplord stayed in Inthorpe Pass where M Minitor had left his <laughs> it's Minotaur kind of had left his cult of mages for a years. They ambushed any poor traveler that was unfortunate enough to wander into their territory. Translation on this seems a little weird, but I don't know if it's actual translation or not. Wait. Oh, the equipment actually changes how things look. Like on my player model. That's appreciated. Okay. So, thing to consider... Is these guys... Are actual spellcasters. Not much of one. Okay, let's go back to this. Try Circle of Pain. Well, that seemed to have worked. Anything in here? No. Here's a question if I check inventory. Oh, I think it already has them. Wow. Okay, that is very expensive though. I'll have to be very careful. This spell's got a little bit more of an aggressive... AoE to, AoE to it? More aggressive mana cost to it than the Firebolt. However, it ignores shields and is instantaneous. It doesn't destroy stuff either. Oops. Yeah, I just have to watch. I have to watch out a little bit. <laughs> I wonder... The combat on this game feels like it's kind of just there. It's not bad. But it feels like it's not the focus. I think the real focus of this game was just destroying buildings. And I think there's nothing wrong with that. Bye. Let's just switch back to some fire. Yeah. So it looks like I was getting uh, all of those items that I was confused by. I was getting them just from enemy drops. That's nice. Don't have to loot things constantly. There we go. Any other items around here? I see plenty of enemies. Excuse me, sir. At some point, we're going to run into... I can't hit these guys for beans. <laughs> but I can certainly ground target them and smack them out of the air. There we go. Onwards. Oh, there's, there's an enemy here. Hello, enemy. Farewell, enemy. Anything else? Nope, we're good. Hello there. I don't know if there's a man in that tower, but they won't be soon. Goodbye. Nope, missed. There we go. 
I think I might have hurt myself with that one. I hard to tell. All right, back to fireballs. We'll get him eventually. You know, honestly, this is kind of what I wanted Skyrim Magic Combat to be. It's kind of what it is, but it usually just felt like, hmm, what if I just fired endless amounts of firebolt at thing or summoned Daedra? I don't know. Morrowind had the better magic system, in my opinion. Being able to craft your own spells is choice. Okay, what do we grab? Frozen Spear. Well, it's better than either of these, so I'll grab it. Now, I know at some point we're going to have chasers coming after me. But I don't know when that's going to happen. Okay, Arc Suplord arrived in the long abandoned hills of Quare during the height of a heavy miasma storm. Corrupted horrors crunched over dry grass, rushing towards the Victorum with deadly intent. Okay, can I check my inventory real quick? Grab this. Let's have a stop projectile scroll. We have a ring. Can I have two? Yes. No. What if I do enchanting? Oh. Oh, with the passive or active ability, but it will replace any. But I don't have enough? I see, so that's how I could do it. I don't actually care. Uh, let's see. Does this currently stop projectiles? Yeah. Let's see, what else do we have? Physical, health. I think the rest of these I don't care too much for. So what is this? No rune set, high velocity. Okay, so I only have so many. The one thing I will say about the ice spear, uh, hard or it's very accurate. Pinpoint accuracy, very mana efficient. Compared to my my pain drain spell. Yeah, so if I want to just kind of churn through a group. This is the spell to spam. Doesn't have any AoE to it. Okay. There we go. But maybe it doesn't need it. Did I get him? I must have. There we go. Yeah, I can just absolutely snipe a dude in the legs. Kinda. It's only working so well. That's frankly okay. Who are you? Oh, you're one of the explodey dudes. I have to be careful about that. That said, I they were just running at me single file and just letting me pierce them down. Eat a duck. Oh, I could really go for some peking duck at some point. I don't know, I'm kind of digging this. I really wish the spell mods were permanent. Like, spell shaping is neat, but I want it to lock. Aha. Okay, so we're gonna have some unfriendlies coming in shortly. But that's okay. Ooh, my computer does not like that. Whatever's going on. Okay. Got another one of those guys, but here's the thing. I can just spitfire these icicles. You know, is there any loot around here? No. Doesn't look like it. There we go. Well, I think we're good. Unless there's some new surprise that I haven't seen. We... I wonder if there's falling damage in this game. I certainly hope not. Because otherwise I'm going to have some unfortunate accidents, I'm sure. Okay, we find some money. Let's go here. Okay. Lose 40 essence, choose a rare item. I don't have enough for that. Let's see. Oh, and we're starting to see the Inquisition come. 
Arc Suplord came across a mage as they called herself Nightfire in the Frigidale Pass. She had clearly been practicing fire magic, but his arrival interrupted her. She looked up at him and quickly stood. Not only did you intrude on my study, but now the Inquis Inquisition are here. Arc Suplord nodded calmly, magic, magic crackling in his hands. Perfect. I'm curi curious about how many different spells there are in this game. Let's see. I think I, did I actually get one? No, I didn't think I did. Curious about this Inquisition. I thought they'd be fight. Uh, they'd be fighting mages. Why do they have? Well, I guess unless they have enslaved mages. Ooh. Ow. That hurt. Grab that. That totem is interesting. I like the idea of it. I like the idea of like half of these spells these guys are slinging. Okay, always go for the double tap. Alright, back to fireballs. Oop. Didn't notice him there. Make sure he doesn't get back up, thank you. Hello, sir. Ow. Oh, those fire fireballs at me. With weirdly pinpoint accuracy. Trick shot me in the back. Okay, don't see anything else. We have a lot of unfriendos, though. There's a whole bunch of them. Whoops. Well, that's certainly an interesting spell. I should remember to use it. Yeah, if I can kill their mage, this gets so much easier. What were they doing? I think they were having a huddle. Football fools. There we go. Anything else? No. Everything looks beautiful. Up we go. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I think that just that just does more damage. Ooh. Keep my distance. Oop. Okay. I'm just gonna peace out for a hot second. Don't worry about me. Okay, I see him. Wait, did I manage to totally snipe that wizard? There's no way. That was one of the previous suckers. No? I'm getting a couple of snipes off here. Not many, but it's enough. All right, did I, get, did I get them all? I think I did. Okay, and we have a, a healing potion right here? Yeah. All right, uh-oh. Well, the real answer is it winked out of existence. Dang it. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just slightly, slightly wounded. It looks like it was gonna be a healing potion, but yeah, it fell into the one nook. The one nook. Before I go anywhere, I should definitely check my inventory. Ooh, got another, another ring. It is... <laughs> a gold ring of shittiness. Oh, you know what? I'll own it. Uh, let's see. So I think I'm probably going to skip that and just kind of ping pong here. Oh, no. No, I'm going to go up here.
Okay, Ark Soup Lord successfully traveled through the sooty under streets of Bear City undetected, save for the owner of a small shop. He had the look of someone who had not cared for themselves in a long time, and greeted the potential customer at the same time that he shoved a pastry into his mouth. Hey! <laughs> hey! His voice was like saw and bone. You wanna buy some of my stuff? I got some of special guff stuff too, you wanna see? Crumbs shifted and fell from his person as he spoke. Curiosity reigned over judgment as he reluctantly breathed special stuff and quirked an eyebrow. Yeah, I got, yeah, I got all kind of hot, rare and special stuff now. Nowhere else but here, he said with a... He said as he shuffled his in his chair to a spot behind the counter, he groaned loudly as he reached down, pulling up what must have been a beautiful ornate box at one time, and tossed it on the counter with a thunk. Okay, so we can get... Javelin. Rock or arrow. <laughs> huh. Mana cost zero. It's just like an arrow because that's exactly what it is. Rock. It's a rock. Or conjured javelin. 15 damage, 2.5 damage, or 10 damage. These are pretty useless. He eyed the useless tomes, failed to stifle a scowl, and said, I'll pass. Yeah, sure, here's the rest of my stuff. Alright. Yes, he also has, like, Frost Nova and Burning Aura. Strong Presence, Rare Pauldrons. Only cost nine. The shaping bonus is a bit of a pain, but the rest of it is pretty good. Hungry Finger. Plate Mail of the Bear, Phalanx Scroll. Oh. Chilled the caster while channeling. Ooh, but expensive. Okay, we also have a Fire Beam. Oh. I'll try that instead of the Fireball. Sell the Ring of Shittiness. Uh, we also have the Hungry Fastener, Magic Resistance Shaping Bonus. So we lose some of the movement speed, which I'm kind of reliant on. We also have Fury, Glacial Rune. Spells automatically cast with any other spell, but this one can no longer be directly cast. That's interesting, but with a 3% accuracy. I love the idea of it. Wait, what? Shoots base elemental spells in nearby enemies. Order strength, order cast frequent. What? What does order do? That sounds very weird. I might want to try that with a frost spear. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm going to sell all of my other stuff, though, while we're here. Especially the not useful ones. So do I want the Blazing Aura? I think so? Because that sounds helpful. Let's sell the rest of these. What about these boots? Slow me down. It is some defense, but nah. Let's not. Okay, Frost Nova. Eh. And the gloves. They're good, but they're not, like, amazingly good. Let's see. We have that. Yeah, I'm gonna... Wait, wait, wait. What else do I have? High velocity. There's also multi-shot. Massive. Interesting. I'm just really curious about this and what that does. So we're going to try all of those and then I'm going to fully heal. And I'm going to keep the Fireball Tome, not touch the rest. I don't really care about Frost Nova. Though the, it sounds interesting. Okay. That's good enough for now. So let's get a boogie on because otherwise I'm going to get grabbed. Oh. 
The afternoon sun smiled on Arxuplord as he traveled through Malvinwood. He actually found himself enjoying the sprawling views of glistening peaks and the mist valleys below. Unfortunately, the moment he relaxed was the moment he was spotted. He heard a gasp in the distance and spotted a flash of red leathers as a man disappeared into the dense forest. An Inquisition scout? Get him with the spear! Arxuplord flung out his hand, almost by reflex, a bolt of power lashing out into the forest. A deafening crack of magical energy pierced the silence of the wood, followed by a scream, then silence once again. Arxuplord waded through the forest, finding the scout's body and reaching it. It's pretty bad. Now, I do have 40. We could buy some more stuff. Maybe. So, I think I'm going to do 1, 2, 3... Up, up, up. If I can make it. The Inquisition is moving kind of fast, though, so I might I might just kind of boogie. As a child, Ark Suplor dreamed of visiting Grand, the Grand City of Merdul. He never expected that he would make the trip once he grew older, wiser, more jaded. The ancient city even predated the Cataclysm, and the scholar within him wished he could be here under different circumstances, but the burning in his heart and the knot in his stomach urged him to press on. Let's visit the Merdul Historical Society. Though he felt some people looked at him a little too hard, Ark Suplord remained unnoticed as he approached the beautifully crafted entrance of Falnut, Historical Society's flagship museum. Avoiding other patrons, he devoured the information on the relics contained within. While at the same time looking for knowledge he could take with him for his fight against the Inquisitor. Soon enough, he came into an empty, unwindowed section of the museum, his footfalls resonating on the black marble flooring. The only artifact contained within was sitting on a twisted pedestal. It was called the Gyfir, the oldest known rune. Oddly enough, there's no display case and no room to guard. Reach out for the rune. Ark Suplord grabbed for Gyfir, but found when he touched it and felt nothing. He picked it up and examined it, and then laughed. Despite the claims, it was no true rune. Just a stone with no magical powers at all. The historical society must have gotten desperate for new exhibits. Uh, I might not actually be able to get to all of these. But maybe it's fine. Okay. Time to fight. And let's see about some, some of the spell modifications. Now, is there a way, game... Is there a way that I can make it so that whatever my shaping is sticks? No, I don't think so. I was really hoping. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, good. Motion blur is off. I see a whole horde of them. I don't know what that did. I see a bunch of dudes, though. Okay. That's dicey. Oh, there's people. There's people running around. I'll keep that in mind. There we go. Dodge that. Anything else? Yes. We have a new friend. Hello, new friend. Goodbye, new friend. Unfortunately, the weather effects are making this kind of hard to tell what the hell's going on. I think I... Did I get him? I did. I'm getting kind of good at sniping these guys from afar. Okay. Anything else here? I see a healing potion there. So I'm going to do that. Does that destroy it? Oh, wow. You just have to plunk, plunk the bottom and you're good. Okay, there's a healing potion in here somewhere. 
Nope. Up a layer. A little hard to tell. Can I force door? I can. Drink health potion? Oh, I guess I'm pretty hale and hearty to begin with. Is there? Oh, there is a friend. There's no longer a friend. Okay, so I want to do high velocity. There we go. Anything else? I mean, there's everybody else. Yeah, I'm, I'm mostly on the lookout for useful bits. Now, here's a question. Yeah, it's pretty effective. <laughs> okay, I'll have to keep this in mind. Come say hello to my little friend. Oh my god. Well, that's effective. I think I'm just going to do laser laser beam death hugs. That seems like an actually fairly viable option here. Hello, sir. Goodbye. Oh, there's still a couple of goons up in here. Chasing a person. Actually, sir? Sir, you're safe now. Hello. Uh, do they just run? They just run. This is a very strange game. I, I'm i enjoying it, but it's definitely kind of one of those where it's like, it's more for the novelty of it than the, the actual, like, nitty-gritty gameplay. I'm trying to think of a good example. And alas, I am coming up with blanks. So do I want to go shopping again? Yes. Okay, so what do we have? Spread. Additional spells evenly in front of the caster. Interesting. Slow. M massive. Slow again. And massive again. Oh, but we have even more. Only usable on lightning and wind spells. That's unfortunate. Because I don't have any of those. Oops. Wait, which spell am I looking at? Oh. Wait, no benefit at initial shaping power. Only usable on fire and corrupted spells. When fully shaped. Interesting. I don't know. I might want to do or order. Wait, wait, wait. Can I? Oh, dang. I was really hoping I could actually modify that. So what does it give me? Mana regen? Mana? That's good. And that's, oh no, that's additional mana cost. So what about this? So this has multi-shot, multi-shot. This one. Can't do too much. I guess I'll throw on both of the multi-shots. Why is it red? I don't fully know. Okay, let's give it to that one. Initial fully developed at mana cost. Okay, so it looks like for some of these, for the initial cat, uh, yeah, at initial shaping power. So if I don't shape it at all, some of these actually have a benefit. Many of these do not. Splash damage, projectile size. There's the extra mana, which would be interesting. I don't know. Let's make it big. I don't need multi-shot on that. Uh, let's see. So do we want to grab these boots? Sure. They're better than what I got. Uh, let's see. What about these? No. Those are terrible. What about any of the rest of this? Uh, it's hard to tell. There's also slow, but I'm not really doing slow. 
Okay, what do we have here? The pale rotund man in fine green leather in a fine green leather tunic approached Ark Soup Lord as he passed through a small mining settlement towards Nelf's Peak. After a very polite greeting, the stranger quickly got down to business. There's profitable mining operation to be had not far from here, but the townsfolk won't part with the land. With the news following you, I imagine you're quite capable. Some key buildings were to suddenly have some structural issues. Uh, anyway, no. Eat a d duck jerk. Okay, and the enemies are slowing up. Ooh, rare rune. Rare, hmm, these are tough. Unique item. Who needs health? We got boots, glyph spur, mana mana regen, stamina, stamina regen. Interesting. Because I kind of wasted my money on the last last set of boots. Uh, but I think we got to go here. I could keep going. Uh... Do we want to just kind of do whatever, though? Like, I could just go back. Nah. Let's go for the end. Fight a powerful enemy and then finish this round off. It's an interesting game. I think one of the big big things is just finding fun spells. Oh. Okay. Okay, here's the thing. I'm going to die if I let them shoot at me. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, that's that's a landmine. I didn't know what that would be. Well, at least we killed one of them. What the hell are they up to? Whoops. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. There goes the relentless one. There was the last one. Oh, there you are. Here's the thing, though. That worked. A god's favor means little when one must face the firebrand. However, the, as the Ventus lay... Okay, so we actually had some lore here for these guys. When appealing to a god, one should keep in mind the god might answer. These three men, men pledged to Ventus, god of storms, for reasons best known to themselves, and their pledge was received. Their names burned away. They were empowered with the spirit of lightning and the power of thunder. Now they are bolt, flash, and strike. Neither friend nor foe, but the living incarnation of the god's will, maintaining or opposing by its whim. The god's favor means little when one must face the firebrand, however. As Ventus has chosen, lay slain before him. The old god should see to his work himself. And next chapter, we also get a new item of some variety. Airwing scroll. Temporary flight for a little while. A guardian absorbs incoming and incoming projectile every 30 seconds. Slows me down, tons of health. Jump height bonus. And also a uh, bunch of initial power and mana and some other things. Otherwise, mana leech shaping speed, reduced mana cost. Night Basilisk's boon. I like Picardi's guardian. But this spell is really good. <sighs> I don't know though. This is way more survival. Nah, let's go for the Guardian. And that's going to dump us in Chapter 2. I wonder how long this game is. Oh! We also can grab a couple other things. Uh, Solus, the firebrand stretched, power instinctively rushing through him with the merest flicker of will. While he had been powerful before, the grueling challenges had forged him into something even stronger. So, we can get man after kill, mana leech, spell range and speed, or stamina, movement speed bonus, and a jump height bonus. I'm gonna go with this. Uh, namely if I'm going to be Captain Flamethrower here. Alright, and I'm gonna put on the Guardian. I'm gonna throw the fireball back on. This is a lot more expensive. But is the damage good? 40 splash damage not as good. Oh, this also has additional multicasts. Oh, for the fully shaped spell. Uh, 
And there's also bonfires. Maybe it's just if it's fully shaped. I, I don't... I don't fully understand every aspect of this game, unfortunately. It's really neat. I wish the spell modification was more of like a spell creation system. Like you could equip three runes onto a spell and they just permanently affect it. As opposed to having to reshape the spell every single time you want to do a different effect. I like that option. I think it's neat, but it's extra complication. Maybe it's just something I got to get used to. I don't know. Either way, this very much feels like if somebody took spellcasting from... Um, uh, if they took spellcasting from like Skyrim or Morrowind or whatever and then said, hey, what if we made like a, a physics based, based roguelike out of this? And it works actually fairly well. I don't I don't find like the roguelike elements work that well, but if you want to just run around spell slinging a bunch of enemies into oblivion, like you totally can and I kind of appreciate that. Oh, I could also rest, but why? Either way, Victorums have been available on Steam for quite some time now. It had a big new update fairly recently. Uh, kind of, kind of recently. Yeah, 2.2 came out, uh, like two weeks ago, featuring eight new runes and rune system, which, yeah, I'm still not fully sure about how all of this stuff works. And I know for a fact that I haven't gotten all the cool, cool spells. Like that's, I, I've seen some gifts of this and there's like meteors and all sorts of wild things you can drop. I wonder if there's summons, eh, whatever. Either way, uh, so with all that said, uh, I should probably also mention that Victorum is 10 bucks, which is more than cheap enough for what it is. Uh, it's not the kind of roguelike that's going to change the industry, but it's kind of a fun thing to just load up for an afternoon. But with all of that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe, because I got tons of them to check out. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.